for dogs who are alone. Oh, I just thought it was kind of funny. Hey, y'all. That's <laughs> kind of funny. In a, in a non-funny way, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, everyone. How are we tonight? Are we doing well? Hopefully we're doing well. All right. We're going to play with this wheel. Hmm. I, I need to clean up over here. <laughs> okay. So I have one of the red wheels here. But I also got out... A grapevine because what I wanted to show you is that you can do the same thing on the grapevine that we're going to do on the wheel so it's exactly the same process right you would just do it on the grapevine instead of the wheel because I know sometimes people can get kind of intimidated by um, the wheels so at the end, I'm gonna show you a little trick. Well, I'm just gonna show you that you could put it on a grapevine instead of a wheel. All right, <coughs> here we go. Here we go, let me get. I know it's actually clean. They're saying, hey mama. What? Hey mama. Hey everybody. All right. So this is our wheel. I have one of the red wheels. We have mostly red wheels. We I think we have one blue wheel, but they're in my shop. It's in my shop. Sale's still going on. You're going to need one piece of styrofoam. Not a big piece, a pretty small piece. I just realized I didn't hit go live on that. <clears throat> okay. So, you know, like a, we're going to see how big this is. Like a three by two little piece, just a little piece. Okay. Then you're just going to take it, push it right down into the wheel spokes. You don't need to glue it. Okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take our zip tie and we're going to zip tie this sucker on. This is going to be important later when I show you my little, how you can, how it looks on a great time thing. Okay. There's a reason why I put it on this way. And there's a reason why I don't glue it down. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you why. You've been intimidated by them? Oh no, we need to fix that. Okay. Oh, first I have to show y'all. Look what we created today. It's a church. Check it out. What do y'all think? Do you like the church? Now we haven't painted it or anything. You could actually get it as a kit and put it together. I thought it was kind of cool. Then we made this cute little lantern. You know, for like a candle. <laughs> I was, I was, I, I was having trouble sleeping last night, so poor Megan, I was like taking pictures and sending them to her, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, <laughs> and we got the angel wings, so maybe um, tomorrow afternoon we can come on and do the angel. I haven't listed it yet, so don't get too excited. you love the church so we did the little thing of um, styrofoam I had a good day how about you we're gonna be using these are those ruffle ferns y'all I'm obsessed with these little ruffle ferns can you tell and this is a spider fern I love love 
These are so versatile. They look big, and they are big, but you can cut them down. But what we're going to do, okay, see how many you get on one of these bushes. Look at this. And it's a spider fern, so let me show you. And you see the texture of it, how it almost looks like, I don't know, like a spider fern. <laughs> the great thing is one of these bushes, I actually took one of these bushes and I made three projects with this bush. I did the wheel, the um, lantern swag, and the... Uh, 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 what was the other thing we did? Oh, the candlestick, the candlestick, the candlestick, yes. So that's what I did. I took one of these bushes and I did a whole bunch. Oh yeah, it's going to have to be painted and snowed on and glittered on and all of the things. And what I thought would be fun is, you know, at Christmas time you could decorate it for like, the candy theme, or we are working on gingerbread houses as well. Okay. So I got the small pieces off of here. This one is a bigger one, but what I'll do is just cut it back a little bit and then pull a couple pieces off the bottom. Same thing with this one. Oh, uh, I, we'll list it tomorrow. I have to figure out the price on it. We got blue cutters back in, y'all. The blue cutters are here. They're here. I'm so excited. One more. Okay. Oh, we need air. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to ring this styrofoam. I am having way too much fun with the wood projects, let me tell you. I, I, I poor Megan, I'm like driving her crazy. I'm like, oh, let's do this, let's do this, and let's do this, and let's do this. I can't help it. What I like about it is you can get it and do it as a kit and then you can put whatever colors in your house, right? Match your house. Match the wreath you're doing or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna kinda four corner it to start. So these are the four corners. I'm kinda putting it like up towards the top end <clears throat> remember what I said when you're doing these you want a couple different one you want a couple different kinds of greenery and you want a couple different colors of greenery so we have six so we're going to put two on one on each end there this is my favorite fern right here this one I had a smaller one for a while, but it just went right out the door. So, I think this one got turned around. Hold on, let's fix it. There we go. Now, why that keeps wanting to turn around? It's not in there, Crooked. It just wants to turn. It'll be all right. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> We're going to be putting more stuff in it. All right, so at this point, we need to do our bow. This little styrofoam piece is um, three by two, so three inches long, two inches wide. All right, so I had two options for ribbon. I'm actually going to use the stars ribbon, but we also have this one in stock, and it is so stinking cute. Both are listed in the description. Yeah. 
I did one in my group with this ribbon. It's really pretty. I'll show it to you. <clears throat> but I wanted to do something different. So I thought with the red, I thought it would look really cute to have just the blue stars. So I like that a lot. That's right here. So this little method, it's really not a method. This little way we're doing this, it I think will maybe start to take some anxiety out of doing things like this and this because it's so easy. So easy. All right, we want long tails. All right, let's do 25 inch tail. You only need one roll of ribbon. Poly burlap. Are you talking about like the kind that you uh, use to make the flowers? The only thing you can really do is singe the edges. My suggestion is one of those bag sealers. You know those ones that people use to like preserve their food, you can use those on mesh. My preferred way over the burning it because, yeah. All right, so six inch, six inch. Okay. That's gonna be six there. Seven. Eight and nine. That's what we're doing. Nine. Yeah, poly burlap mesh. Is it like um, kind of plasticky? All right. You can use a wood burning tool, but the fumes is what concerns me. All right. Now we're going to cut a 12 inch piece here. And another 12 inch piece here. All right. Then we're going to take zip tie. Run it underneath. Oh, and y'all, I put the Etsy course on my website because you know I on my shop I you know I forgot to do that but it's live we're starting tomorrow so if you haven't joined and you wanted to and I sent the link to um, Z as well so she has it all right so now I'm gonna take some bind wire yeah how we love our bind wire we also got bind wire back in stock <laughs> hey Dawn Pull it underneath like that. Tighten it really good. Okay, then we're gonna kind of pull a little air under our ribbon here, and then we're gonna fluff out. So just twist and fluff, kind of pulling opposite directions like this. You could do smaller or a little bit larger, but I wouldn't do a whole, bu whole bunch larger than this. Did your puppy come back? There we go. You want the long tails to go down at the bottom. And I'm going to show you why we're using bind wire. So bind wire is super easy to fish around things. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it in between that spoke, and then I wanna come up in that little bitty crack so that it is tied to, hold on. I want it to be tied around the styrofoam and not the wheel. 
And I'm going to show you why in a minute. Well, at the end, really. If you have any trouble, grab your weaving needle. And it goes right through there. Okay, so I have it right up here. And I'm just going to pull it across. Okay, and I'm going to tie it right underneath here. So it'll be underneath the bow. You can't find the fern? Z will have it because it's in the supplies. Alright. It is. It is my favorite. Okay. Look how pretty that bow is, y'all. Just look at that. We haven't even done anything. And it already looks awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See? How pretty is that? Isn't that pretty against that red? Hey, Peggy. What bow would I use on a lantern? This exact kind of bow? <laughs> I'm going to show you. Hold on. All right. There's a reason for all this. Now look how pretty that is with those little tails. We haven't even put anything in it yet and it's already pretty, right? Now, now we put the pretty stuff in. So we're gonna take a few of these little fern leaves, okay? This is our second color greenery. Now, just remember, everything will be available in Kajabi later as well. So, if you can't get on the call, don't stress because it's all going to be recorded and put up. Alright, so I want to kind of go up higher. See how I'm going up higher? And I'm cutting it about three or four down like that. One thing this is going to do is help the bow stay up. Okay, you see how it's kind of going underneath the bow? And it's going to give us some volume. Like that. You know, the sound effect thing. Okay. Have I ever told you the sound effects that Megan makes? <laughs> they crack me up. Shit is so funny, y'all. So one in the middle here. Make sure you're getting it into the styrofoam, very important. Okay. Now in this case, we aren't gonna use these little pieces. All right. Yep, making it fluffy, exactly. We gotta give it some dimension. It's got to stand up and say, hello. It's got to draw some attention. Okay, so right here in this corner. There. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. All right, now we've got, I grabbed these because I like these because they're small and they're not going to take over. They're also inexpensive. So, one of the things that I thought when I was putting this together was, you know, how can I make this so it's really easy to put together and not real expensive? So, this is the solution. These are cherry blossoms. We have them in red, white, and blue. And they're really pretty. Aren't they pretty? They just have these little yellow stems in the middle. They're pretty. Uh -huh, that's from yesterday. Alright, so I'm going to cut them. So there's about an inch at the bottom. I have two of each. Now, if you didn't want to do red, white, and blue theme, 
you could do um, in this, you could do dogwood, cosmo flowers, you could do hydrangeas, geraniums, you could do stuff with the little leaves that we have. Those are pretty. Wait, what are you dropping by for? I think I'm missing out on a whole conversation. No shocker there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. They have natural little breaking points. So you can see if I put it up close, it has like a little notch right there. You see that little notch? So that is a good place to cut it. And I'm telling you this because if your cutters aren't the most fabulous, that's what you need to be looking for is that little breaking point because they, they put those in there for you so it makes it a little bit easier. I am, see, I knew it. I'm missing the conversation. What's the conversation? Okay. One, I wanna do a little bit longer, so I'll cut it down here. So I've got one longer. These are kind of the same, almost size as that. And then I have a small one. And I'll kind of, one thing I like to do is kind of arrange them. It makes it easier for me when I'm going to put things in to kind of put them in like small, medium, large kind of deal. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you're coming down my way, are you? Is that what you're saying? It's okay, come on. Let's see. This one, we'll cut at the breaking point. And then just trim that little bit left. Small. Okay. This one at the breaking point. You can sleep in the warehouse? Oh my goodness, I did not think y'all wanna sleep in the warehouse. I mean, it is cool in here, but I don't think you wanna sleep in here. <laughs> I don't think it would be as comfortable as y'all think. Okay. So these longer ones here that we cut, one, two, three. I kinda wanna put those at the corners I want to put those at the corners. I don't know why I said kind of. Alright, I'm kind of bending it up. I seem to be saying kind of a lot right now. I want to put it so that it's showing. See that? So I'm kind of going to put it right in an area where it's going to kind of sneak out. Yeah, it can be made on a Dollar Tree wheel frame. It sure can. It's going to be the same concept. You just put it on that instead. Absolutely. The trick to these is this little styrofoam piece. Okay. Oh, you don't want to stay in the second story because there's no air up there, y'all. You would want to sleep in my office or in here because it's the only place to, like, you know, have anything like that. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Huh. They're going to sleep here? I don't think they want to sleep here. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they know. They don't know. They don't know what they're talking about because, yeah. People who've been in this warehouse would know there's really nowhere to sleep in here. Unless you want to sleep on the ribbon stacks. <laughs> and hey, you might, I don't know. I'm putting a little flower in the middle. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of spread my flowers out. Pull them down so you can kind of see them. See how, since I put that little area in there, it's a perfect little spot for a flower. 
<laughs> you'd be you'd be shopping, no sleeping, huh? <laughs> That's funny. One at this corner. There we go. I think you can actually get away with less than two, honestly, of each. But we're going to put them all in just because. If we got them out, we're going to put them in. I want to put a little bit of white up here. Okay. There we go. A little bit out here. I'm going to put red out here and a white. I want to put this. Well, that's weird, isn't it? Let's just get that off of there. <laughs> That was a piece of mesh, y'all. That's funny. Okay, I'm gonna put the white here so it can be in between the two reds. So I'm gonna put the red there. You would stay broke. <laughs> y'all are funny. Okay. I grabbed a little bit of this because I thought this would be a little bit cute. This is the um, boxwood that has the little bitty white berries on it. Oh, there's one more blue. Let's put the blue. Where do we want to put the blue? Let's put the blue down here. Right in here. There we go. This is great for filler, and it's great if you see spots where you can see a little bit of the base, I mean a little bit of the styrofoam, you just take one of these, plop it right in there, and just like that, it fills it in. See that? I do have the wheels in my shop. I have red and blue. Although I don't think there's very many blue, but there's a few. So this is our filler here. And I like it because it has a little bit of this white on it, so it kind of brightens it up. It's not going to make it dark. And this is our third greenery. You see now we have that three greenery thing going on. Whoops. I got caught on the wheel. There we go. That. All right, do not come off on me, thing. So I just look around, see if there's, so there's a little spot right in here. This is what I call good ground cover. <laughs> That's what it is. Right, Ma? What? It's good ground cover. Right. Right. All right, where was my spot? Right there. There we go. And you see how far that goes? Can you see how far that goes? Uh, the wreath that I'm making tonight is always, the wreaths that I make are always available for purchase. Although if you want it, it's probably better to email me it is the boxwood bush, the one that has the berries on it. Just because I am notoriously bad about not listing them. Isn't that pretty? All right, now I want to show you the magic. Hello. This is the one I did in my group. Okay, so you can see, same concept, right? I cut off the little zip tie that's on the side, and I was able to take the entire piece off. Now, I can take this piece 
I can put it away, I can get my next design out, and I can put it on top. I haven't done anything to disturb this, so then when I get ready to put it back on, I can just put a zip tie around it again and put it right back on. I can also take it. Oh yeah, you can fit a lot in a little piece of styrofoam. I can also take, now this one had geraniums in it. And that other ribbon, it also had ivy. But I can also take it, oh, I forgot to bring my lantern in. And I can put it on my lantern. Look how cute. Then I just put my little ribbons on each side. All you would do is, you have a couple options. You can zip tie it around like we did with that one. Or you can cut a little hole and put it, depends on what your um, lantern is like. But oftentimes I like to tie them kind of on the side like this. And what I really like is let's say this didn't sell, but I really love it. I'm gonna take it off of here. Then I'm gonna take a grapevine and I'm gonna now attach this to a grapevine. I'm gonna list this grapevine. I might put a sign over here. And then I'm gonna put a different design on this. Yeah, I did do it in my design group. Yeah, I have a design group. So see what I would do is, I got a little extra zip tie out. And you remember how we tore one of these apart? We could still take it apart and you could still use this. You could put it in the bottom like that. Ooh. Let's do that. <laughs> Hold on. Hold the phone. It's happening. So this is what I like. Okay, so you take one design and you make it into multiples. Or you make it so that it's easy to take it out if it doesn't sell. And then you change it so that your next item uses the same things, but it's not going to cost you a lot of money to do it. Okay? All right, so we took our grapevine apart. All we did, remember how we did this last time? We just took off the pieces that hold it in place, okay? And we pull it apart. It's gonna be messy, that's okay. We have one final piece that was kind of holding us together. So I'm going to take that out. You'll know if there is one because it'll prevent you from pulling it apart. It's not going to fall apart, y'all. So don't stress. Yeah, Mama, like stuff with the grapevines, especially the ones pulled apart and stuff in the bow. You are right, she does. Now watch. I've made this into almost a little basket down here. So what I can do is I can take this little piece that has that styrofoam piece on it and I can put it right in here in this little basket. And now this becomes a whole new piece. And it looks great from the front and the back. Isn't that fun? All right, what do we like more? Do we like the wheel? Do we like the grapevine? Or we just like the fact that you can take it off? Because <laughs> I kind of like the fact that you can just take it off and make it into something new. Because, you know, sometimes we do a project and it just doesn't really go anywhere. And so 
sometimes it's a great to have ones that we can just take off of there and then put it in something else. Okay. So to attach this, all we're going to do, take a little zip tie, go in between up here, run it right through all of my little floral -y things here. If you have any trouble, remember you can use your weaving needle. Okay. And then I can zip tie it to this. Y'all got a special, because these are things you usually do in the design group, but I thought it would be fun for tonight. Just to do something a little different. See, and then I just take off the zip tie. So there it is in the back. And you see that's where I tied it. Really easy to kind of hide those things. Right? So I take an extra piece and I just put it right in there to hide that. I have to actually put it in there. but <laughs> And then I just kind of rearrange. But I like how things are kind of draping over here. I can move my tails. Just kind of push them underneath like this. Refluff my bow a little. Let's redo our little curls. You can do it. I know you can do it, Beverly. You can do it. You can do it. How stinking cute is that? That's mom's. <laughs> no shocker there. Okay, I'm going to take this little stick here and I'm going to get this piece in there. In the back where I can hide my stuff. I know the geranium's pretty. And y'all, it's good to have small things in your shop as well as big things. Because not everybody wants a really giant thing. Some people want small things, right? And some people want bigger things. And if you, let's say that you did a show, okay? You could hang these near each other, right? Or you could make one just like this. Put it on your lantern, same matching stuff. You put them near each other, right? So this is some of the stuff we're going to talk about in the Etsy class. You put it near each other and then it it makes a whole little um, vignette, right? So it gives that impression and then especially if you're going to take pictures and put it in your picture, then you know they might be like, can I buy that lantern to go with the wreath? Can you make me one to go on my mailbox? That kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, don't you know that training is tax deductible? Tax. You should know from being in my class that all trainings are tax deductible. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I love this ribbon. Is it spinning? Listen here, YouTube. You behave yourself. Awesome. I like it. What's your favorite, Ma? What? Oh, I like both. <laughs> oh, she didn't see both. So there we go. Look, and how quick did we do those? 38 minutes, y'all. Two projects. Now, of course, I had already done this one, but you can see how easy it is to shift it from here to here. Uh, one thing you could do in addition to this, you can take a little bit of this fern, cut it pretty high up. See how easy it is to make these ferns shorter? Put a little bit in the bow 
Let me see if I can find the, there it is. And have it coming out of the bow. That makes it look really awesome. I love, love, love doing that. Yes, the retreat is tax deductible and your mileage. Yes, it is. And the hotel. If you're using any part of it as a business, it is tax deductible. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's do one more little kind of PC in here. Doesn't that just kind of add a little bit? I guess I need to go back to doing Friday business tips. Or was it Thursday? Was I doing them on Thursday? I can't remember. Uh, he's convinced that they like them in one size. Yeah, no. They like them in all sizes. And you have to think about it too, right? So, some people have a small door. Some people have a big door. Some people have a double door. You know, some people have a mother in a, you know, assisted living or something. Or a small apartment and they need something small. So, you cannot. <laughs> you can never do one size fits all. That's, that's a misnomer in my opinion. <laughs> It did make the bow pop, right? You could even put like a little bit of red in there. See how we have that little bit of red right there? How that kind of draws attention. Isn't that pretty? See, and then you can easily just cut that off, pop it out, because it's not glued on here. If you want to leave it on here permanently, you're going to want to take a leaf or something like that and just glue the leaf right across. Okay, and then it's going to, you know, cover any of those ills. You want to hear about the 101 class? Okay. So it'll cover all of that, and then you won't see it, and then it looks nice and finished, and it won't scratch a door. So, and even if you decide to take it off later, you can pull it off, and then still take that off. Isn't that cool? interchangeable projects and since it is attached all to the styrofoam and not to the wheel it's very easy to interchange them and hey for y'all who have Etsy shops you could like take your zip tie put it right through your <laughs> I've given y'all all the stuff tonight put it right through your styrofoam so that it's kind of in the middle and then, um, you know, send it with an extra one and then they can take them off and on and do, you could sell like the wheel with this design and then sell one for Christmas, one for summer, one for patriotic, and then you just, they can just interchange them. Show the church again. Yes, ma'am. There's the church. It's, it is a completely, now I haven't put the base on it yet, but you can see it's a solid, it's all different pieces, but, so each one of these can be individualized and put together. So the little doors, like you can make the little doors, you can put a little design in here. These actually go together up at the top, but she didn't look at the picture when she was gluing it together. <laughs> so, kind of funny. Yeah. Woo. Okay, Etsy 101 class. So the Etsy 101 class is um, that Trisha screaming your name. I thought you were trying not to spend too much money, Miss Carrie. Oh wait, aren't you coming to the retreat? Carrie, were you planning on coming to the retreat? Don't buy the church because you can make that at the retreat. You're gonna do. Um, at the retreat, they're going to do a project that they pick, and the church is one of the options. Okay, 
the Etsy class is part of the group. If you are the group, don't pay for the Etsy class. Etsy 101 is, um, it goes from setting up your shop. Uh, you just go to um, Hardworking Mom on YouTube. And if you join my um, text alerts, it's just live, L-I-V-E, -I, I cannot speak. And it's 864-465-8401. And then we send out a text when we're going live on YouTube, and then you can go over there and jump on. It's just right on my channel. So we go through setting up, how to do your pictures, how to list things, how to do your keywords, you know, what you have to do to get um, your shop seen. We'll also go through how to price your items. So pretty much everything to do with Etsy so yeah do you like the church see Carolyn I told you, you didn't see the picture I posted in there today I told y'all I was trying to figure out the church isn't it cool it's so cool I'm so excited this was our first this is actually um, like a hanging one for a votive candle I mean, it's a little lantern, but it's more for like a photo candle. But I have a, a tear tray design we're working on for the retreat. And we have um, a lantern we're working on. And I, I feel like there's something else. No, she hasn't finished the peacock frame yet. Wait, which kit? Which kit am I? Wait, what kit am I posting? Is it the church? Because I have to measure that all out. But I, I can. I like the candle too. Oh, and we have at the retreats, we have these um, theme nights. So we've done. Yes, you're in the business group. I know you're in the business group. Yeah. So you should already have Etsy. The Etsy workshop should already be in your. Um, Kajabi. Uh, the turtle. We haven't finished the turtle. We finished um, the angel wings and we did what was the other thing we did? Shoot, if I can remember. <laughs> Alright, so you can sign up for the Etsy class right on my shop. It's just shophardworkingmom.com it's right on the main page you can also sign up for the retreats there I'm not going to tell you everything I'm telling you one thing Carolyn and that's it and you you have to know ahead of time I haven't done the bookworm yet the green mesh came in though and I can do it now I have to tell you ahead of time so you can pick which one you want to do and that's the only one you're learning about <laughs> Yes, yes, I will teach it. I'll teach it every year. We'll teach the sublimation every year and we'll teach the Etsy every year. Yep, we're trying to just do uh, specific trainings that, you know, are kind of targeted for people who just need, like, they don't need the whole thing, they just need a little bit. <laughs> You're so funny. I have to I have to tell you because you have to pick one. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you all the goods, Carolyn, I promise. I'm not gonna I'm not telling you anything we're making, Carolyn. Because you like to be surprised. <sighs> it's fun. Did you just buy the mermaid tail? Yes, absolutely. We can do anything we can do just about anything specialized with the wood if you want to add a name or something just email me and we'll i'll get you hooked up with megan and we'll we'll get you set up oh big prayers for you deborah oh you were i'm so proud of you deborah you were watching the email list 
Uh, you can hold me to it. <laughs> um, Mom, Emily says that you need to come in sometime this week. What? Emily says that yeah. you need to come in sometime this week. Okay. Okay. She says okay. Maybe we can get her to come tomorrow. Yes. You will also get a choice of projects if you did the VIP. Yes. We're not going to leave y'all out. Thank you. All right. This was fun. This was fun, fun. It's Lori, L O R I, at hardworkingmom.com. That's it. Tomorrow, I think, um, if my ribbon comes in, we're doing a beach wreath. I got this really cute ribbon. It has, like, a beach scene on it with, like, um, it has, like, the sand and the sky. And it has, um, oh, I'm excited, too. It has, like, um, it's, like, beach balls or the... Umbrellas. That's what it is. It's umbrellas. Okay. She wants to see you, Mom. What? She wants to see you. Okay. Okay. So she I said will, okay. I will come whenever my stomach allows it. She'll come as soon as her stomach's better. <laughs> Maybe it'll be better in the morning. I can go pick her up. So. Yeah, y'all have a great night. Yep. I know. I had to wait until I could get the mesh in. But the mesh came in. So, and maybe tomorrow sometime we can do the, um, what we're going to do next? The bookworm. And we have to do the angel wings. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'll figure it out tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a great night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Yep. Do what he says, Deborah. Very important. Do you have to do the stress test where they put you on that um, treadmill? That thing is horrible. Hopefully they, they do the other kind because that is not fun. But hopefully everything comes out and nothing will show up because that's what we want for you. No heart problems. Right, y'all? So let's all say a prayer for Deborah that her heart monitor test comes out clear. Yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great night. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Oh, and if you're doing the Etsy class, I'll see y'all tomorrow. It's going to start at 6. Hopefully, it's going to start at 6. Somebody's coming to look at our small laser. So, if he gets here on time and everything goes well, I'll be on at 6. Awesome. All right. Y'all have a great night.